Have you ever considered what may occur if a comet or asteroid strikes our planet? Do you believe that a scenario like the movie Armageddon could actually happen? Around 100 tons of rock and stone particles fall to Earth from outer space every day. Famously, one of these asteroids snuck up and struck Earth about 65 million years ago, igniting a cascade of events that eventually caused the extinction of the dinosaurs and gave mammals, like us, a chance to rule the planet. Despite our desire to remain at the top of the food chain, it appears that the cosmos is ready to take a toll on us. A gigantic comet has entered our galaxy and it is speeding towards us at an incredible rate. Is it going to hit us? In the event that it does, what are our chances of survival? Well, let's find out in today's video. Throughout human history, comets have been viewed as profoundly significant and have been studied extensively by philosophers, priests, astrologers and scientists. Even though they are frequently as large as asteroids, comets have a tail consisting of gas and dust that is ejected from an ice-cold nucleus that makes up most of their mass. According to the studies from the Hubble Space Telescope, scientists have unearthed a rare specimen, the most massive comet ever observed with the largest frozen nucleus ever seen. In less than 10 years, a comet about 80 miles wide and unlike any previous comet in recorded history will speed through the inner solar system towards us. Skywatchers first noticed Comet 2014UN271 during the Dark Energy Survey mission in 2014, but it wasn't until mid-June of last year that they realized the data actually showed a comet. Some have referred to this find as a mega-comet since it has the potential to go down in our historical records. The realization was reached by Gary Bernstein and Pedro Bernardelli, who gave Comet 2014UN271 the more memorable moniker, Comet Bernardinelli Bernstein. Despite being so far away, Comet Bernardinelli Bernstein was partly identified due to its size. The diameter of this comet is about 80 miles. That is considerably bigger than the six-mile-wide asteroid or comet that wiped out the dinosaurs 66 million years ago and it is bigger than the US state of Rhode Island. It is hurtling at us at a pace of more than 22,000 miles per hour. The nucleus is roughly 50 times bigger than the center of the majority of observed comets. It is thought to be 500 trillion times heavier than the average comet discovered far closer to the sun in mass, or astonishingly, 500 trillion tons. For over a million years, the comet has been plunging toward the sun. The Oort cloud, a horde of billions of comets, is the source of this material. The inner edge of the diffuse cloud is estimated to be between 2,000 and 5,000 times further away from Earth than the Sun. Its outer border may extend at least a fourth of the way to the Alpha Centauri system, which contains the nearest stars to our Sun. A 3 million year long elliptical orbit around the supermassive comet takes it as far from the Sun as around a half light year away. Currently, the comet is plummeting roughly perpendicular to the plane of our solar system and is less than 2 billion miles from the Sun. Only around minus 348 degrees Fahrenheit is experienced at that distance. It is nevertheless heated enough for the dusty comet to form the sublimation of carbon monoxide off of the surface. In fact, the Oort cloud has an odd connection to both Earth's life and the inner planets. Last year, astronomers at Harvard University proposed that, rather than the widely acknowledged asteroid, the extinction of the dinosaurs may have been brought on by a comet from the Oort cloud. They argue that a comet may have been fragmented as it approached the Sun too closely, after being yanked off its orbit around Jupiter by powerful tidal forces. It is possible that the cometary shrapnel that followed was what sparked the most recent mass extinction. Have you ever pondered the lack of comet impacts on Earth? Well, we have been safeguarded, but how? Jupiter's gravity holds the key. 
Without Jupiter, comets and asteroids might have destroyed Earth before life had a chance to begin. One of the reasons we haven't discovered intelligent life yet may be because Jupiter-like planets are so uncommon. Everyone knows that Jupiter is the largest planet in the solar system. The gaseous beast of a planet known as Jupiter is also 318 times more massive than Earth, 11 times bigger and 2.5 and times larger than all the other planets put together. Surprisingly, approximately 15% of planetary systems appear to have a gas giant similar to ours. Jupiter is more than simply a huge ball of gas rotating a few hundred million miles farther out in the solar system. By deflecting asteroids and comets, Jupiter shields Earth and the other planets from harm. Astronomers had excitedly followed the course of a comet known as Shoemaker-Levy 9 as it travelled through our solar system in the two years prior to 1994. The comet was the first to be seen orbiting a planet, in this case Jupiter. Over time, the gas giant's gravity had broken it into several pieces, each measuring up to 1.2 miles in diameter and moving at 134,000 miles per hour. It wasn't the comet itself that drew astronomers. Rather, it was the opportunity to witness Shoemaker-Levy 9's expected collision with Jupiter. There was a huge explosion in July 1994 when Shoemaker-Levy 9 eventually hit Jupiter. A roughly 2,000 mile high fireball erupted, with temperatures exceeding 42,000 degrees Fahrenheit when the first component struck the planet. As scientists came to know, that wasn't the first time Jupiter had been struck by an object. According to certain studies, the gas giant is struck 8,000 times more frequently than Earth. The Shoemaker-Levy 9 collision was one of the first times we considered even looking for celestial bodies impacting Jupiter, so that number may actually be higher. After all, we can't observe Jupiter's far side directly. It makes sense because Jupiter is not just a sizable target, but also draws celestial bodies that are travelling through our solar system due to its mass. Because of its enormous gravity field, the planet attracts asteroids, comets and other solar system junk like a giant vacuum cleaner. It also has the ability to launch into space everything it cannot absorb. The Earth would be scarred by meteor strikes if Jupiter hadn't cleaned up the early solar system. If not for Jupiter, we would be subjected to an everyday asteroid and comet collision. If not for Jupiter, where you are living would most likely be a massive crater. So the next time you look up to the sky, you might want to take a moment to appreciate how useful Jupiter has been in protecting us from the forces of the universe. What if Jupiter weren't in our solar system to absorb these errant comets and asteroids? Suppose the worst happens and the comet slams into our planet, what next? There's little doubt this would be a dreadful day for everyone if this gigantic spacecraft crashes into the Earth. Comet Bernardinelli Bernstein sized space rock striking the ground would have global consequences and climate alterations that are orders of magnitude worse than those that wiped out the dinosaurs. A tsunami may be generated if the rock missed land and plunged into the ocean. In light of this, how can we defend our planet, our home? In order to prevent a comet from colliding with Earth, it must first be detected and then redirected. Astronomical threats to our world are constantly monitored by various agencies, including NASA. These groups are always looking for new and better ways to keep the Earth safe from potentially harmful asteroids. We can lessen the potentially deadly effects of asteroids by being well prepared and planning ahead. Scientists have been considering the prospect that an asteroid may one day strike Earth since the 1960s. They are currently trying several asteroid deflection techniques to shatter the cosmic object into thousands of pieces. However, these fragments also have the potential to harm Earth in a manner comparable to that of an asteroid impact. As a result, they developed the most recent strategy known as Kinetic Impact Deflection KID, 
which will launch something into orbit and cause the asteroid to deviate from its route away from Earth while keeping intact. When a rogue asteroid threatens to strike Earth, scientists are seriously considering ways to deflect it. To deflect the asteroid 101955 Bennu, for example, they calculated that a gigantic human-made deflection service would have to make many minor strikes. Researchers at the NASA facility in California have been testing various asteroid deflection techniques to determine which ones are the most effective in changing an asteroid's trajectory away from Earth. According to the Space Agency, the likelihood of asteroid 101955 Bennu colliding with Earth during the next 300 years has increased by about 1 in 1,750. And to the most pressing question we've been grappling with, will Comet bernstein berninelli strike Earth? NASA estimates that the comet will never approach our planet any closer than 1 billion miles from the Sun, and even then, it won't happen until 2031. Although it doesn't threaten Earth, who knows, the comet could decide to change its mind and plow right into us. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you're still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more mind-blowing videos about space.